to zero, saying he's been forced to swallow a snake. I'm going to be reacting to a video of a patient who believes they swallowed an entire snake. Stay tuned to the end of this video to see what happens. I want you to hit like, subscribe down below. Without further ado, let's dive into it. There's quite a lot of cops here at the moment, and apparently we've got a male patient of unknown age who's uh, got some sort of acute mental health problems. So, Look how chaotic this scene is. We have four cops on scene holding a patient down. The patient is screaming out, top of their lungs. Look how calm, though, the paramedics are. Jordan, Jordan stays relaxed, calm, grabbing the bags while looking over at the scene and slowly making the way over to the scene. See how we need to stay calm as paramedics when the scene is chaotic. That's how you do it. He, he believes someone's poisoned him and put a snake inside him. So he's, he's obviously quite delusional and, and sort of quite detached from reality. You'll be surprised to hear that calls like this in mental health and drug overdose are one of the most common calls we get in EMS. It's not all car accidents. Now, the second thing here I want to touch on is the strength of the patient. So we're trying to assess, is this patient on a drug? Is this a patient maybe who's not taking their medications? But when someone is in this level of psychosis, whether it's drugs or, or a mental health issue, they are completely unaware of what's going on which is why we have these cops holding him down because the patient is using all his strength to actually get up. And we don't want the patient to hurt himself. Five milligrams of midazolam, which is like Valium. Yeah, no, it's nice and relaxed with that arm pal. It's all right, you're all right, you're okay. What Jordan does next is we have to transport this patient for their own safety. We have a man laying in the middle of the road who is in a psychotic episode. So what we're doing in order to transport this patient is sedate the patient, calm the patient down. Also, we are unable to assess the patient of what's going on. We're unable to do a physical exam on a patient who is in that psychotic moment. So what we're going to do is sedate the patient, get him calm, get him relaxed, and then we can do a full assessment on our patient, right? Which you're going to see later on in the ambulance, then transporting the patient safely to hospital. 140, that's 97. With the man's pulse double what it would be at rest, Jordan suspects the psychosis has been triggered by something else. He perhaps could have taken ice, his heart rate's very high, or perhaps speed or something like that, some sort of stimulant. This patient's heart rate is double what it should be. The average heart rate in a patient is 60 to 100. Put that in the middle, maybe about mid-70s, around 80 for a normal heart rate. Now, this patient's heart rate is 140. Right, and the patient is not going for a jog right now, right? So 140, that's getting into a pretty high heart rate. So which is why the paramedic team here is thinking maybe this patient is on drugs. You know, if someone has pain or anxiety, you might see something like 110, 120. 140 is entering pretty high territory, almost double the normal heart rate. Now, one more thing I wanna to touch on is when he talks about speed and talks about ice. You might not know what that is. Ice is crystal meth, that's methamphetamine. It's gonna jack up your heart rate for sure, all right? And amphetamine would be similar to like an Adderall, right? But in illegal drugs, it would be in a powder form, that's amphetamine. Are you on any regular medicines? Um, carrots. Carrots? And what else? Um, So now we're seeing how relaxed the patient is, able to be transported, we're able to do our full assessment and get transported for high level psychiatric care in the hospital, right? Now, secondly, you'll see a cop in the back of the ambulance. This is for the safety of the paramedic, but also the safety of the patient as well. Patient is being transported and everything will get sorted out in hospital. Likely here, uh, the patient may uh, get some blood work done to figure out you know, what's going on inside their body. And also, uh, they may get some other tests as well to make sure all their medications are in order. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this reaction video. Let me know if you want more reaction videos from recruits, paramedics from Australia. If you're one of these three people, if you are getting ready for school, in school right now, or getting ready for your NREMT, I've created a video guide resource for you down below. It's the first link in the description, and I give my students lifetime access to all of it. So click that link down below to grab that, and I will see you in the next video.